because in this session I'm going to dive into solution of uh, national assessment test uh, exam mathematics last year uh, this uh, is the exam actually which was done by form two students uh, it was actually uh, not December it was November last year so uh, the exam consisted of 10 questions this is the format of the exam uh, so students were supposed to uh, do all 10 questions uh, each question carried 10 marks and students were supposed to show clearly all their weights uh, all writings were supposed to be in blue or black ink except the drawing which must be in pencil uh, nectar mathematical tables geometric instruments and graph papers were allowed actually communication devices calculators especially calculators and any other unauthorized materials were not allowed in the assessment tool and the students were supposed to write their assessment number at the top right, at the top right corner of every page so as i promised that in this session we are going to solve all the three questions and the first question as you can see here is on lcm find the lcm of these numbers 900 sorry 90 and 240 so we are going to use prime factorization uh, and then we do this question now here is going to be the breakdown by prime factorization we'll be dividing actually by 2 until we are done with all the numbers so by 2 is going to be 45 and by 2 is going to be 120 we divide by 2 once again you get 45 and here is going to be 16 divide by 2 again you have 45 you get 30 you divide by 2 again you get 45 and then you have 15 and now it is time to divide by 3 you'll be getting 15 and then here you'll be getting actually 5 you divide once again by 3 here you'll be getting actually uh, 5 and we have 5 again there we divide by 5 it is 1 1 so how do we get LCM LCM you are going to multiply all the prime factors of these numbers the common prime factors and so the prime factors you have 2 it is 2 power 4 multiply by 3 square multiply by 5 Well, so you can see so many inconveniences, but then let us focus now. So, uh, from this, so LCM is going to be LCM is going to be two power four times three square times five. We are going to multiply these numbers and let us see what we are going to get. So LCM will be sixteen multiplied by nine then multiply by five you know that when you multiply actually 16 by 5 it's going to be 80 so you have 80 times 9 and this is going to be 720 so lcm of 90 and 240 is 720 and coming to gcf we are going to check the common uh, the common factors uh, when we were dividing and the common factors 2 was one of them so I'll be taking 2 times and then you go to 3 3 here was one of them 
so multiply by 3 and then 5 was the last one so multiply by 5 and eventually we are getting 30 so LOCM is 720 and GCF is 30 and by attempting the question this way you are supposed to get 5 marks okay you go to 1B estimate the value of 8108 divided by 37 because we are estimating uh, we are going to uh, estimate each number first to the nearest uh, it depends actually you just check the last number and see how the estimation can be done so 8108 this will be estimated to be 80,000 and 37 will be estimated to be 40 so the next is step now we are dividing you are taking 80 divided by 40 and when you divide actually those numbers 0 and 0 goes by 4 1 will be getting 2 0 0 0 so we are getting actually 2000 so we can say that uh, 8108 divided by 37 is estimated actually to be 2000 and that is the answer so expectation is that actually if you attempt this question correctly you get 5 marks as well and now we are jumping to question number 2 question number 2a uh, you can see uh, here we have actually operation of numbers uh, we are going to use a bonus so we are going to start with the bracket and uh, uh, for easy operation we are going to change the numbers into uh, improper into actually improper fractions so this is going to be 39 over 10 divided by 18 over 5 minus 3 over 2 now considering board mass now we are going to start with the bracket so I'll be taking 39 over 10 divided by you put it in a common denominator which is 10 10 divided by 5 will be 2 2 times 18 will be uh, 36 36 minus 10 divided by 2 you get 5 5 times 3 you get 15 so then we're going to have 39 over 10 divided by 21 over 10 and this is going to be equal to 39 over 10 we multiply by reciprocal of the number we have which is 10 over 21 so when you simplify these given numbers by 10 here will be 1 by 10 will be 1 there by 3 here will be 13 by 3 here will be 7 and so eventually we get in 13 over 7 so the simplification of the entire expression here is taking us to uh, 13 over 7 once again the way if you solve this question that way then expect it to get uh, 5 marks we are going to change uh, mixed change 1.23 2 is repeating 3 repeating into mixed numbers into mixed numbers uh, so actually we are talking of mixed fractions well so i'll be taking we are going to assume let x be 1.23 repeating and actually this is 1.232323 like that i'll be multiplying by a hundred when you do that you are going to get 123 
0.23 repeated and the next step I'll be subtracting the second part if this is second part uh, from the first part I am subtracting the first part from the second part so that when you subtract you get actually 99 xc equals to 122 from here we can say that xc will be 122 over 99 and this is going to be 123 over 99 so we have done uh, with the solution of question number uh, number 2b we are arriving to the last equation for today's session and the last equation is known uh, to be solved as follows how many how much money will you have to lend in order to get the interest of uh, 36,000 shillings at 5% per annum if you lend it for 6 months so we are looking actually for principal will be how much if the interest rate is 36,000 shilling the rate is 5% and actually the time spent is 6 months which is 60 over 12 years so we take it to 0 0.5 years we are going to use simple interest from the simple interest is PRT over 100 we are looking for the principal so you can make actually principal the subject so principal will be 100 multiplied by interest divided by RRT so we take in up to the 100 times interest rate interest amount which is 36,000 divided by rate which is 5 times T which is 0 0.5 ok so when you proceed here this is going to be actually 100 times 36,000 divided by 2.5 so when you simplify by dividing by 2.5 here is 1 2.5 here will be 40 ok so when we multiply now the principal will be 4 times 6 you get 24 4 times 3 is 12 and 2 you get 14 and how many zeros you are going to have actually 4 zeros so actually the principal was 1,440,000 shilling so according to the question how much money will you lend you are going to lend actually this money so that you are going to get interest of 36,000 shilling Nyanjara bought 50 bottles of milk uh, the last part uh, for this session so Nyanjara bought 50 bottles of milk for 70 children if the capacity of each bottle is 300 milliliter find the amount of milk in liters that Nyanjara bought so Nyanjara in total actually uh, Nyanjara Nyanjara bought 50 bottles and each bottle uh, its capacity is 300 milliliter so in total actually uh, Nyanjara bought 15 Zero, zero, zero. so 15,000 milliliter of milk 
don't be confused by this number here, 70 children. Because we, we were told that 50 bottles of milk were bought for 70 children. So we're going to change now 15,000 uh, liters into milliliters into liters. Uh, just a reminder that one milliliter, one liter equals is equivalent to a thousand milliliters. So actually, fifteen milliliters, fifteen on a college. So we say that fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand milliliter. This will be equivalent to 15,000 milliliter uh, divided by a thousand milliliter. This is actually a amount per liter. So eventually, uh, we are getting uh, 15 liters. So, in a very simple way, we say that Nyanjara bought actually 15 liters of milk. And that is solution for question number number three. <coughs> Our session was meant to solve uh, uh, actually to solve only three questions and we managed to solve the three questions. Uh, if it's your first time to be here, don't forget to subscribe so that you're going to uh, you're going to be uh, updated on other coming sessions. Uh, with that being said, I wish you all the best in your mathematics learning journey. We are putting uh, an end actually to uh, today's session. See you in the other coming uh, session, dear students. Peace.